Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're going to talk about Marvel, Marvel movies and TV shows and how um, a lot of special effects artists, VFX artists are no longer working on the shows or choosing to pass on Marvel shows due to the stress and the unrealistic deadlines. Now, this is not the first time I've heard of this. I remember when Endgame came out that there was some discussion about how much work actually went into Endgame, and it wasn't just Endgame. It was, you know, Marvel had a whole bunch of other movies they were working on, and the stress was really starting to get to the crew that was working on the, uh, that was working on the movies. And, and here's the thing, you know, these movies... Love them or hate them, they do make money. Thor made money this weekend. Not as much as I think people were thinking it was going to make, but it still made quite a bit of money. It's also a very uh, FX-laden show, but it's not just like they put a couple of movies out a year like they used to. It's like they put out three or four movies a year and then like three or four series. And then we've also got you know some of these effects houses working on you know Star Wars content and stuff too. So it's like all over the damn place. But um, this discussion has been coming up uh, more and more lately. And, you know, Disney may want to crank out more content because, you know, Marvel and, and Star Wars kind of sort of make money, right? Uh, make money, but, you know, it does come in a price. That being the people working on the show being stressed out beyond belief. So we'll see if there's a, a tipping point here. I don't know. We're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rance, guys, over 272,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about Disney. Uh, we talk about uh, the animation industry and anyone who's ever worked in a mainstream, uh, you know, animation industry or you know, visual effects industry or Hollywood in any capacity will tell you about crunch time, video games. It, you know, it comes with the territory. Uh, we had people, you know, when there were some artists complaining about uh, the hours that they put in on the Marvel shows, uh, you know, Twitter's like, well, shut up, you get to work your dream job kind of attitude. And it's like, no, not necessarily. I mean, it's, it's you know, you can you can have something you really love to do and be like, hey, I finally made it and I'm, I'm working in comics or I'm working in animation or I'm whatever. And then um, absolutely hate it within a couple of years. You know, something that you love, something you wanted to do your entire life, and then you can just absolutely hate it because the working conditions are so so piss poor. So I can't vouch whether or not these are true stories. I'm just going to have to take their their word for it. I guess it came from Reddit uh, initially. There's a VFX uh, subreddit out there. Um, somebody said, I'm quite frankly sick and tired of working on Marvel shows. Marvel has probably the worst methodology of production and VFX management out there. They can never fix the look for the show before more than half the allocated time for the show is over. The artists working on Marvel shows are definitely not paid equivalent to the amount of work they put in. The charm of working on a Marvel movie is way overrated now. I would rather be happy working on a TV series after decades and decades of this. Sorry, but I had to get it off my chest. And uh, lots of other people chiming in. Yep, I request not to work on them, movies and TV shows. Unfortunately, they're becoming our biggest client. They expect a smorgasbord of options so they can change their mind three more times. This is actually a very Disney thing. This is just kind of how Disney is in general. Like they, to them, um, it doesn't matter how much you work on something. It's all about, you know, the, the, the manager in charge being able to pick the right, the right option and uh, being the hero. And it just doesn't, it doesn't compute with them. I mean, it's the same whether it's uh, animation or, you know, video games or theme park stuff or whatever. That's just kind of how Disney, Disney rolls. Um, anyway, uh, this article out here on The Gamer, um, we have another guy out here who said that uh, he worked on Marvel shows. Uh, working on Marvel shows is what pushed him to leave the VFX industry. They're a horrible client. I've been seeing way too many colleagues uh, colleagues break down after being overworked while Marvel tightens the purse strings. And uh, he actually went on to say, hey, this isn't about Chapek. Just because a lot of folks have mentioned it, this has not been the case, or this has been the case since the earliest days of the MCU. Didn't start recently. It's not because of Chapek. This issue uh, is Marvel's too big, can demand whatever they want. It's a toxic relationship. That's true. And again, this is just kind of how Disney rolls. You know, you are a um, spoke in a wheel. 
And if you complain, that's okay. They'll just get rid of you and, and bring somebody else in. You're easily replaced in their eyes. I mean, I'm not saying people are easily replaced. I'm saying to them, uh, to a company like Disney that has the most successful cinematic franchises out there, there are tens of thousands of people that will take your place. So this is coming from The Gamer. VFX artists are speaking out against Marvel with many refusing to ever work with the entertainment giant. Again, this comes as artists share accounts of unworkable deadlines and immense pressure leading to stress and unsatisfactory final products. Many have requested to never be put on Marvel projects again, saying the studio has the worst VFX management out there. Um, these allegations have been made on the subreddit R VFX with artists across the industry sharing their negative experiences with the company. Almost no one in the subreddit has a good word to say about the employer, with many saying that the money and star power aren't worth tolerating such poor working conditions. Uh, threads titled, I'm quite frankly sick of working on Marvel shows. Um, we already talked about the original post. Others in the uh, replies are quick to agree with the OP. On Thor, they asked for a complete mini sequence two or three weeks before deadline. Uh, Mickey Moo Moo's account is much the same. I request not to work on Marvel movies and TV shows. They're our biggest client. We talked about that. Those who haven't been able to avoid working with Marvel confirm it hasn't improved in recent years. I'm on almost three years straight of Marvel. Welcome to the seventh level of hell. Another user shares that their time on Marvel has been a black hole of sleep deprivation and eating bad. Another thread from three months ago contains even more damning accounts of what it's like to work with Marvel. These allegations were shared when another VFX artist was disappointed to lose out on the opportunity to work with Marvel, something their industry peers reassured them was no great loss. I am on my third Marvel project in a row and literally just woke up 5.30 a.m. on Saturday with stress going, I don't want to do this anymore. It's 6 a.m. now and I am making a reel to apply someplace that has projects other than Marvel because I can't do this anymore. Mickey Moo Moo, Mickey Moo Moo shared a particularly shocking account of their time working with the studio. Marvel has seen grown men punch walls and throw monitors from stress. I broke down a couple of times and I've seen the strain it can put on marriages. But hey, the money was fantastic. F Marvel as a client. The credit name is not effing worth it. Um, it took me over six months to recover from WandaVision's crunch. It's not worth it. Not worth, not when there are, there are better run projects out there that look just as good. Given how recent some of these projects are, it's unlikely there's been a dramatic change in the past few months. Remains to be seen if Marvel addresses these criticisms as they become widely shared online. They will not. Um, if they do, I'd be very, very surprised. Um, you know, this is kind of funny. Marvel mistreating artists. History might not repeat, but sure as hell rhymes. Um, yeah, this is true. Disney too. They used to do a tour at Disney World where you could see all the artists drafting tables through a glass wall, but the artists weren't there. Turns out they would make them leave their desks when a tour was coming so the tourists couldn't witness the misery. Um, that's part of it. I think part of it too was what they're working on. But yeah, it, it they do push their people really hard. They do. Um, everybody's like, they, they want the uh, the recognition, the brand recognition of working for Disney or working for Marvel or working on, you know, Lucasfilm project or something, but they don't realize what that actually comes with. Um, I've heard since, because you guys aren't unionized, they can overload and underpay. Is there any truth to that? hundred percent truth. Uh, yeah. And they also job out to multiple FX houses too. You know, and so it depends on, I guess, who's doing the assignment, which house for which project. Um, but again, they'll find somebody else to do it. You know, I mean, that's the truth. It's it's like, oh my God, Marvel. Oh my God, Star Wars. Oh my God, Disney. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.